What's up guys, I will dominate here from Team Liquid and today I'm giving you a vlog to inform you of how my 60 day quest went. Um, if you guys don't know, 60 days ago we started um, having our own quest to be healthier. Mine was um, to start working out a little bit and then also change my diet so that um, I was just taking in a lot less junk um, food and stuff like that than um, usual. And I'd just like to say that my um, 60 day quest was super successful in my mind. Um, I stopped uh, eating a lot of fast food and I also um, started drinking a lot more juice and water instead of soda, um, which was actually around like the 1st of January. I decided to add to my quest that I was just going to completely drop drinking soda. And generally speaking, I feel a lot healthier and like more alert um, during games. Uh, I feel, having like a huge absence of fat in your diet um, kind of makes you feel uh, like a little bit like less sluggish when you're scrimming and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I definitely think that my um, 60 day quest was successful in my opinion. Uh, I was able to, I think, lose a little bit of weight. I just feel better and um, started running and yeah, just in general, just as a whole, I, I feel healthier than I did 60 days ago. Um, as for the team, we've been kind of struggling to get all of our players here. Piglet obviously had visa issues. Phoenix had visa issues too, but um, Phoenix is actually back at the gaming house, so he'll be here for uh, week one of LCS. Um, we haven't got any practice um, with them yet. It's kind of unfortunate because uh, most of the other teams have been practicing two, three weeks now, but um, we've only practiced one set so far in the last month, and going into LCS, we only um, are going to have like two or three sets with Phoenix, and we're going to have to play with the sub for the first week. Um, I'm kind of expecting like a little bit of a slow start from us. Just getting back into scrims, we're not as quick to make decisions as before, um, and we don't really have a crisp mind about what to do with um, certain situations. But I think that once we get Piglet and Phoenix like um, back into like our scrimming schedule and we're able to play a lot and Peter's here more, um, we will be a strong team. But um, the first two weeks are random. I mean, we could still do well, but it's definitely a random factor where uh, we don't really know um, how the results are going to be. We have no clue about the other team's strengths either. So uh, it's just going to be like sub wars is, I guess, what it is since we're playing with subs against subs both games. So. Um, yeah, I expect the first couple weeks of LCS to actually look kind of shaky for all teams, but um, once everyone starts scrimming and getting into the season, everyone will be um, pretty much at their max potential um, by like spring split playoffs and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I'm just kind of excited to see um, how we do once we start scrimming and stuff. And I'm excited to just finally start scrimming again because before we hadn't been um, practicing that much and I've just been solo queuing and you know, all of us like have like that challenger solo queue account and um, I think all of us have got like a second one now but playing scrims um, and solo queue is completely different like jumping from solo queue into scrims you feel like it's a completely different game and you don't really know what you're doing anymore because the game is so much different in solo queue. Solo queue prioritizes farming, you just try to be strong yourself, you don't really ward much um, and you just try to like carry the game which is a pretty bad mentality for um, scrims and competitive play so I think once we all get back into the competitive play mindset we'll be a really strong team so I'm kind of just looking forward to getting back into things.